Hi guys, hope you're all doing well this week. I know some of you guys are heading back to doing some school a little bit differently because I know it's online. Uh, I miss you guys, I miss seeing you. And uh, I hope that we don't have to be too long before we can see each other and high five each other in purpose and on purpose and play in the playground. But for right now, uh, Carissa and I and Lyndon on another day are gonna do some challenges with you so that we can stay in touch. So I don't know how many of you guys know, but we are right now in what's called Holy Week, and that's leading up to Easter. But let's back up for a minute. If we'd all been to church together on Sunday, we would have celebrated together something called Palm Sunday. Now, there's a story behind this, and I would have told you guys this in class, but I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it right now. So Palm Sunday is when we celebrate that Jesus entered Jerusalem. And he, he was riding on a donkey and people were waving palm branches. They were celebrating him. They didn't really realize what he was coming to Jerusalem to do because we know the story goes further and that he came to die. And that's a sad day when you think about that on Friday. But it's not really that sad when we know what happens on Sunday and that his death was necessary to conquer death for us. And then we celebrate on Easter Sunday because he rose again. But going back to Palm Sunday, what the people would do is they would take big palm branches. Now, I don't know if any of you guys have lived anywhere where there's palm branches. I used to live in California and they had palm trees there. So there were some palm branches. But they would take those palm branches and they would, like I said before, they would lay them down and they would say, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. And they were talking about Jesus. They were celebrating him. Well, something that Carissa and I have done for a lot of years is we would take palm branches and we would make crosses out of them. Now, I can't give you guys palm branches. <laughs> Up at our house, the snow has just melted and we don't have any palm trees. So today, Carissa and I are gonna use pretend palm branches, which is just a piece of paper. And the good news is, is that you guys have a piece of paper somewhere around your house, I'm sure. So I'm gonna let Carissa walk us through how to make a branch or a cross out of our pretend palm branches. Now it's a little bit tricky, so you might need mom and dad's help and we'll go through it. I can't promise that I'm gonna do it perfectly. So we're in this challenge together, you guys, okay? So here comes Carissa. She's gonna tell us how to do this awesome cross. Okay, so the first thing you gotta do is you gotta find a piece of paper and what I did is for ours, I measured one centimeter so that it was not too big, but if you don't have a ruler, you don't, you just try and make it thin. And make sure you cut this way, because if you cut this way, it'll be too short. So I measured it one centimeter and I cut it, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it and you're gonna hold it like this, and you're gonna fold it in half. And make sure you give it a little crease so that you know where that line is. Pretty good so far. And then you're gonna unfold it. Woo! And then you're gonna take what'll look probably like your left side on the video, but you're gonna take your right hand side, and if you don't know what that is, you're gonna ask your parents, and there's a little line from where you folded it, and you're gonna fold it up, and it's gonna kinda make a little triangle. You can see. Okay, and then you're gonna take that same piece, and you're gonna fold it down. So now it's pointing to the ground. And then one more time, you're gonna take that same piece and you're gonna fold it up. Okay, now pause for a second. If you don't get that so far, you can rewind and go through it again. Mm -hmm. And moms and dads, you are definitely, or grandmas, whoever, you probably will need help. I think Chris is gonna have to help me. Yeah. So if you can see, now you should have a little bit of a square. It should look like a square. You won't see it because it's facing the other way but it'll be a square. And then you take this, this bottom part right here and you take it and you fold it behind. Behind the square? Yeah, behind the square. So now it should look like you have an L. Yay! Okay, now this is where it gets a little bit trickier because you're gonna take this bottom part and you're gonna flip it over. So now it doesn't look like an L, it looks like an upside down L. And you're gonna try and feed it through your square. So it might be a little bit hard. 
And if it's too big to go through the square, you can just cut it a little bit with scissors and make it a bit smaller. And then once you got it through the square. Oh, look, so you're gonna have like a loop and then you pull it yeah, through. Yeah, you pull it all the way through. So now it's nice and tight. Oh, cool. Okay, and then you can flip it up again so it looks like a backwards L. And you take this other piece, not the piece that you just have, but the other one, and you feed it backwards through the square again. But this time you're not gonna do it all the way, you're gonna leave a little bit of a loop at the top and you're gonna fold it. And this is gonna be the main part of your cross. Cool. And then you can take this other piece that's not folded, you might wanna flip it around so it's on your right hand side, and you feed it through the square again, but you're not gonna do it all the way. You're gonna do it about two thirds, and then you fold it there. And then this piece will be a little bit longer, so you can just tuck it, fold it back in, and tuck it in. And there you have a cross. Cool. Now, that's what we used to do with palm branches, and it would look really cool. But the neat thing about, about paper is that you can color it and make all sorts of designs. And when you do that, then you guys can show that to me when we meet together this week. I'm gonna be writing to your moms and dads because I know lots of you guys are doing schoolwork when we normally meet on Wednesdays. So we're gonna find out a different time. So you got a couple days to do this. And if you, if you have any questions, you can always make um, a comment down on the bottom of the, of the post Facebook page, and we'll yeah. see if we can help you because it takes a bit of work. But once you get it, you can make lots of crosses. In fact, you could make one for every place setting if you're gonna have an Easter supper and decorate them for every person. So I hope you guys enjoyed our challenge as we look at Holy Week, going from Palm Sunday to Jesus dying on the cross and then celebrating his resurrection. Make sure when you guys are done, that you get your parents to take a picture and you can post it in the Facebook comments so that all your friends can see what you're up to. Hey, we hope you guys have a super great day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.